military and first responders provide some of the most stressing spectrum usage scenarios. Emergency operations are by nature unplanned and highly time sensitive, and manual spectrum allocation has proven slow and problematic. A key imperative for the Spectrum Collaboration Challenge is the ability of SC2 radios to solve this problem. This scenario investigates how artificially intelligent radios can collaborate at machine speeds to autonomously manage spectrum in ad hoc or emergency situations where no spectrum management plan exists. In this scenario, fire containment teams have converged on a fire zone under short notice. Today, under the current spectrum management approach, this situation would require spectrum managers to conservatively assign a unique frequency channel for air tanker missions. However, when there isn't enough time to fully deploy and disseminate the plan, we see first responders' radios disrupting operations, causing critical interference. In this scenario, each team is composed of on-the-ground crew members, an aerostat, and air tanker firefighting planes. In Stage 1, the firefighting is limited to the ground crews who communicate voice traffic and video back and forth with each other. Then, beginning in Stage 2, air tankers are introduced to the scene as the ground crews direct the air tankers to leave their loiter positions and drop water in the fire zone. The air tanker missions are highest priority, and the ensemble needs to collaborate to safeguard all communications with all air tankers. In each stage, one lead team will deploy three air tankers, a second team will deploy two air tankers, and the other teams should yield traffic to the lead teams. Successful ensembles will need to clearly communicate their team's needs to one another and ensure that the different air tanker missions have clear communication paths. This scenario will test the SC2 radio's ability to collaboratively operate in these conditions and manage high-priority communications with highly fluctuating spatial dynamics. If successful, this SC2 capability could provide a powerful solution to a known communications problem in current military and first responder emergency situations.